Welcome to Bible Time with Mrs. Shirley at Walter Hill Church of Christ. I bet you've noticed that I have some new glasses, so my eyes are ready to focus. Are your eyes ready to focus and your ears ready to listen to a lesson from God's Word? Tell of Bethlehem and Jerusalem, tell of places Jesus used to go. Tell of Galilee and Gethsemane, tell of Jesus, for he loves me so. Bible stories, good for summer, winter, spring and fall. Bible stories, Bible stories are the best of all. Last time we were together, our word was doubt. And do you remember that Jesus was walking on the water and someone else wanted to get out of the boat and walk with Jesus? Who was that? Peter. And why did Peter start to sink? He doubted. He turned his eyes away from Jesus and started looking at the winds and the waves. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Let's see what our word is today. Well, now this is a little different. Looks like I have a little paper doll. has a word written on it. Children. Our word today is children. Let's see what the Bible says about children. Psalm 127.3 says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The Bible says children are a heritage. A heritage is a special possession. I know that my children are a very special possession from the Lord, and you are very special to the Lord as well. Remember when Zacharias and Elizabeth were told they were going to have a baby? And they had a baby and named him John, who grew up to be John the Baptist. And they had so much joy. He was definitely a blessing or a heritage from God. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got Peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean in my soul. I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean in my soul. Another scripture about children is Ephesians 6 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. We talked about this scripture when our word was obey, so you are very familiar with this scripture about children. I'm going to play a little game with you and give you some hints about different children in the Bible. I wonder how long it will take you to figure out the answer. See if you can think of the answer before I get to the very end of my clues. Okay, the first one. This child lived at the temple. He was brought to Eli the priest when he was a young boy. His mother's name was Hannah. His name begins with an S. Samuel. This boy did some bragging. His father gave him a beautiful coat. His name begins with the letter J. Joseph. The Bible says this child was a beautiful child. His mother had to hide him. She placed him in a basket and floated him down a river. His name begins with an M. Moses. These boys were twins. The father preferred one boy 
while the mother preferred the other one. Their names began with J and E. Jacob and Esau. This was Abraham's son. His name starts with the letter I, but it is not Isaac. Ishmael. This child went to Jerusalem. His parents could not find him. They found him in the temple. His name begins with J, Jesus. And you can read about all of these children in the Bible. The more we read the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the more we read the Bible, the happier we'll be. It tells about Jesus and how we can please him. The more we read the Bible, the happier we'll be. Time for another scripture. Mark 10, 14b says, Let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. In the Bible, we read of how people brought their children to Jesus. Let's look at a picture story of this. Now, people were bringing their young children and babies to Jesus so that he would bless them. But when the disciples saw it, they began to scold those who brought them and turn them away. But Jesus called for the children, saying, Let the little children come to me, and do not try to stop them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. What did the disciples say when people started bringing children to Jesus? They said, don't bother Jesus. But children were never a bother to Jesus. Jesus loves children. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And not just all the children of the world, he loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. This week, since our word is children, every time you see a child, I want you to think to yourself, Jesus loves the children. And remember that Jesus loves you very much. Have a good week.